Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rinu Karajaram and I'm here today with a hair tutorial. Well, today's tutorial is all about the Dyson. I have been using this beauty for about 3 months now and I have really learned to use it on long hair. I can show you the length of my hair at the moment. So, as you can see, it is really up to my butt. And yeah, I think I can share quite a few handy dandy trips for those of you who have long hair. So I have washed it this morning and it has been towel drying for a little bit now. I made sure to leave it still uh, damp. So my hair has actually grown quite a bit. So actually the last time I got a haircut was about eight months ago already so I'm really due for a haircut um, and I have planned one in this week I'm going to get a big trim plus I'm getting balayage done it really depends on what the stylist will think um, what technique they need to use on the pictures that I have looked up that's why I really wanted to film this video now since my hair is still really really long okay so let me explain to you how I use the Dyson on my long hair okay so let's dive into the explanation part as I have a lot of tips and tricks that I've learned that I want to share with you guys on the Dyson Airwrap as you know there are a lot of different attachments but for today's video I will be using the um, bigger barrels and the low dry attachment. I do not want my hair to be completely dry but just a little bit um, so it is ready to go for the curly ones. I'm putting the blow dryer on the hottest setting and also the highest airflow. <laughs> I am doing a sh sectioning my hair. Basically, I am creating four to five sections eventually, but I will start off by sectioning my hair from my ear all the way to the back so that I can start um, by curling the bottom part first. By the way, I might uh, film my appointment that I have at the salon. In the review of the Arab, I said a few times that you it is that the airwrap has a learning curve and it definitely does. Section my hair, brushed it out. I will take my airwrap and then we'll start with my left section. So then I have to look at the barrel that goes inwards. So that goes that way. As you can see those arrows. So put it up. So what I do, I take all the hair and I'll do this in one section because my hair is thick and long. Um, yeah. It might be better to do even smaller sections, but I feel like it works perfectly fine. If you can see my hair, it is a little damp, it's not wet anymore. You take your section, like this. I will go ahead and put the air wrap on the outside of my hair. The arrows are going that way, so the hair will eventually start wrapping itself on this side. There are a few techniques what you can do. The first being letting it suck up all the hair by itself the second one being what i do a lot of times because I, in the review i also said that i had a lot of uh, flyaways and by using this specific technique um, it is much less so what you do turn it on you make it capture the first bit and for the rest of the hair you turn the dyson all the way up to your head so in that way, the hair doesn't have to be sucked up because it is long. If you have short hair, just imagine the barrel, it will suck up the hair like that and it's very short distance. But with long hair, it has a really big distance to go and that makes it a bit difficult. So this technique really works. And the last technique would be your hair wrap upside down like that. And then you start wrapping from the beginning and you wrap it as you would with a normal curler. So the technique I use most often is the second one, that being let the air catch on and then you wrap for the rest of the hair. Daydream. 
So, as you can see, the curl is done. This is the type of curl you get uh, when using this technique. Though I must say, if your hair is a bit more dense, like mine, um, you want to dry the roots of your hair a bit more. The majority of the heat is in the ends now because you started there. And that's why this can remain a bit damp if you don't dry it um, beforehand. And if you have shorter hair, this will get dry no matter what. Uh, but because the, the Arab has a lot of space to cover, um, yeah, you will get that. But as you can see, it's a very nice bouncy curl. A really good tip to lock in your curls is to use a little bit of hairspray, especially if your hair is heavy and it weighs itself down. It is... I buy it here um, in the Netherlands. It's a really good one. It really locks in the curls. So I take my curl and just a little bit goes a long way. Also switching barrel and these arrows go to the right. So put it on. It's the same thing. This section though feels a bit more um, heavy and it's a bit more thick than the other side. So I will divide it into two equal parts. Never take away my drive. In a time love stays, I found my one. And there you have your curl. Right now, these look a bit, um, you know, like the old school Hollywood curls. Um, this is perfect because when you start brushing out your hair, this type of curl will give you volume and it looks so natural. If you have long hair like me and you do not only want to have a little bit of curl here, you really want to curl up, then use one of the two other techniques in a shirt. So what I will do, I'll switch this barrel out from the other side because I'm going to turn upside down the, the hair tool, okay? So what we're going to do, I'm going to grab this chunk of hair, I'll put the tool like that and then I will start wrapping. And that is this curl. See, this particular technique gives a beautiful curl that starts all the way at the top because you basically start curling from here. So see, this is much more of a tighter curl because I did this in two sections. And this is a bit more loose, but nonetheless very pretty. If you uh, want the curl to be a bit more high, then just repeat that step. On this side okay so let's continue with this part of the hair so now I will go part from my eyebrows till the center of my head so and go all the way up and now you have two sections okay for this part of the hair I will work from the back to the front and I will do about three sections per side um, starting with the back section so I'm taking a piece of hair which you think is reasonable, you feel you feel the thickness of the hair to make sure that the sections that you're parting are a bit equal. I try to always brush through the hair, comb through it, or even run my fingers through it, so all the little flyaways are also in, in here. The same technique applies. Make sure it has the right arrow. Yeah, the arrow is facing to the left. <laughs>
rest of my hair. Okay, let me fast forward this part so you can just speedily look through this. Okay, so you might be in between the parts that I'm curling my hair, I keep moving my fingers on the barrel. It is hot, again, be careful. But the thing is, because my hair is so thick, and just imagine all of the hair being in one place, it really takes a lot of effort for this tool to get through all the hair. So what I do with my nails, I go ahead and kind of shift it so that all the hair get enough heat because otherwise you will have chance that it gets less heat than the the bottom of course Again, when I'm able to hold the Dyson like this, that is when I have the cool blast on and the hair is ready to cool down. So as you can see, using this technique around the face, it will make sure that the hair is lifted and it goes out of your face. Instead of when you start at the bottom, the upper part doesn't get enough heat. So like this, it really stays and gives you that beautiful face framing effect. In a time Okay, so this is really your arm workout, but you might think why I'm able to pull the Dyson like this It's because with this technique there's a little bit of space so you can pull the Dyson down Curl it back up and I think that gives a very natural flowy effect And now we have that same type of curl on this side Okay, so besides this little top bun, the rest of the hair is done. Let me put it back. I'll turn around so you can see um, how the hair is looking. It already has dropped down a little bit, so keep that in mind. So, this is done. Let's take down the bun that we left over. So, put the rest of the hair to the back. Brush this out because we will start sectioning again. It looks like a small chunk, but I cannot explain to you. But this is this for me. This is quite a thick, thick part, and there is a lot of hair in here. Um, so yeah, this will give me the volume. Because this is the top of my head, instead of um, sectioning vertically, I'm sectioning like this horizontally. So you can go ahead, because I'm going like this, I'm holding the air wrap just on top of my head. So you can wrap the hair forward, so that it goes like this, or you can go backward. Yeah? So what I'm doing, I think I will section this around four pieces, I think four to five pieces this will take me. So the first two I will bring to the front. Take the section, brush it out, I cannot even get it in fit. That's how long it is. Oh my goodness. So from here you take the hair and you bring it all the way up. What 
I'm doing now. I'm letting the back part fall out and I'm clipping this middle part. So that is done. This section is key so we're going to pin it, leave it there for a sec and spray it. So remember the two sections we did inwards? They have created a lot of volume because they want to roll inwards and you're pushing them out. So because you're doing the reverse opposite way, it gives you this natural lift in the hair without teasing. So that's amazing. I think that you can see all the volume this tool has created and you can understand why I love it so much. My hair usually is a bit longer, but of course the curls, the curls make the hair go up a lot. But yeah, isn't this gorgeous? It takes a bit of time. I know for all the long hair girls um, that are watching this, I know your struggle, but you know, it will take a bit more time because you have long hair. I know some of you are like, yeah, I don't want to spend 20 to 30 minutes doing my hair. And you don't have to do this every day. I do this maybe once every few days and it lasts quite a long time for me. Maybe not as voluminous uh, as it is today or right now, uh, but the curl will stay in. Um, but yeah, if you have long hair, you need to put a little bit more effort. And otherwise, just wear your hair down and straight. Just use the, the brush attachment and straighten everything. Or what you can do that is really cool um, is use the brush attachment and then curl the, the, bo uh, the bottom of your hair only. Or what you can do is maybe your bangs, like this part. Just do your bangs, don't curl it, but give it a blowout so it, it's frames the face. That's also really pretty if you don't want to take tremendous time to do this. So I think it should be fine now. Let it go. Give it a spritzy spritz. So it just has a little bit of oomph and we push it back. Push it back, push it back, push it back. What I will recommend you is now turn your head over and shake it out. So flip and shake 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 <sighs> flip over <laughs> okay okay guys i've tried to fix the hair up a little bit the two sections that i blow dried to the front i kind of push them back full of volume up let me know in the comments uh, what kind of videos you want to see from me if you want me to take you along to the saloon when I get my hair cut and my balayage done let me know in the comments I hope you guys are enjoying the content on my channel I'm, going, I'm quite nervous to do this all in English again and everything makes me a little bit nervous but I really really enjoy it so I hope from the bottom of my heart to see you in my next video and yeah till then stay happy mm -hmm.